Hello everyone, welcome. Before you get started on the 17 practice questions of the renal system for your ATITs, I just wanted to say if you end up reusing my questions or posting them somewhere else, please, please be kind and give me some credit because I do work really, really hard to make every single one of these questions by myself. Also, if you need a comprehensive review of the renal system, I'll go ahead and leave my link down below in the description. Okay, let's get started. Question number one, which of the following are not a function carried out by the kidneys? A, excreting waste product out of the body, B, fluid and electrolyte balance, C, acid and base balance, or D, circulating blood throughout the body. Our answer here is D, circulating blood throughout the body is not a function of the kidneys, but A, B, and C are. Question number two, which of the following is the protective layer covering the exterior of the kidney? A, the renal cortex, B, the renal medulla, C, the renal capsule, or D, the renal pelvis? Our answer here is C, renal capsule is the layer of the kidney that protects from infection. Question number three, which is the correct order of urine leaving the kidney? A, the renal cortex, to the medulla, to the renal pelvis, to the major calyx, B, the major calyx, to the minor calyx, to the renal pyramid, to the renal cortex, C, the renal medulla, to the pelvis, to the cortex, to the renal tubule, or D, the collecting ducts, to the renal papillae, to the minor calyx, to the major calyx, renal pelvis, and the ureter. Our answer here is D. The correct order is collecting ducts, renal papillae, minor calyx, major calyx, renal pelvis, and ureter. Question number four. Which major blood vessel carries filtered blood out of the kidney and to the body? A, the renal artery, B, the inferior vena cava, C, the superior vena cava, or D, the renal vein. Our answer here is D, the renal vein is the one that takes filtered blood out of the kidney and sends it to the body. Question number five, what is the name of the arterial delivering unfiltered blood to the glomerulus? A, the renal arterial, B, the afferent arterial, C, the efferent arterial, or D, the glomerular arterial? Our answer here is B, the afferent arterial is the arterial that delivers unfiltered blood towards the glomerulus. Question number six, which major blood vessel carries blood to the kidneys to be filtered? A, the renal artery, B, the inferior vena cava, C, the superior vena cava, or D, the renal vein? Our answer here is A, the renal artery brings blood to the kidney so that it can be filtered. Question number seven, the indentation where blood vessels enter and exit the kidney is called A, the renal hilum, B, the renal cortex, C, the renal pelvis, or D, the renal pyramid. Our answer here is A, the renal hilum. Question number eight. 
In which layer of the kidney does filtration take place? A, the renal capsule, B, the renal cortex, C, the renal medulla, or D, the renal pelvis? Our answer here is B, the renal cortex, because remember, the glomerulus and the nephron is actually within the renal cortex. Question number nine. The cup-like structures that collect urine exiting the renal papillae or papilla are called the blank and blank. A, the minor calyx and major calyx. B, the renal cortex and renal medulla. C, the major pyramid and minor pyramid. Or D, the renal pelvis and ureter. Our answer is A, the minor calyx and major calyx. And just want to throw this in here. The plural for calyx is calyces, C-A-L-Y-C-E-S. Question number 10. Which of the following is known as the functional unit of the kidney? A, the nephron. B, the proximal convoluted tubule. C, the distal convoluted tubule. Or D, the glomerulus. Our answer here is A, the nephron is the functional unit of the kidney. Question number 11, the following are not filtered through the glomerulus. Instead, they exit the glomerulus via the efferent arterial. A, sodium and magnesium. B, water. C, ions. D, red blood cells, white blood cells, and large proteins. Our answer here is D, red blood cells, white blood cells, and large proteins are not able to be filtered through the glomerulus because they don't fit, they're too big, so instead they go out with the blood flow of the efferent arterial. Question number 12, what are the steps to urine formation? A, glomerular filtration, absorption, and secretion. B, tubular filtration, tubular absorption, and tubular secretion. C, glomerular filtration, reabsorption, and secretion, or D, filtering waste product and absorption of essential nutrients. Our answer here is C, glomerular filtration, reabsorption, and secretion, and also make note that it is reabsorption, not absorption. Absorption happens in our gastrointestinal system, and then reabsorption happens in our kidneys. Question number 13. The pertubular capillaries is a network of capillaries surrounding the renal tubules. Their function is to blank. A, absorb blood back into the body. B, absorb needed nutrients and secrete excess water. C, absorb waste product from the kidneys. Or D, reabsorb material that the body needs and secretes waste that the body does not need. Our answer here is D, reabsorbs materials that the body needs and secretes waste that the body does not need. On a side note, remember that reabsorption means uh, nutrients or products from the tubules are going into your bloodstream while secretion is the opposite it is materials from your blood secreting out and going into your tubules question number 14 this is a select all that apply which of the following are true statements regarding the renal system a, the renal system excretes unwanted substances such as metabolic waste, excess ions, and toxins by creating urine. B, the renal system maintains blood volume and blood pressure by altering the amount of water excreted via urine. C, when the kidneys do not get a sufficient amount of oxygen, they produce erythropoietin in order to stimulate red blood cell production in the bone marrow. D, all of the above. 
Our answer here is D, all of the above, which means that A, B, and C are all true statements regarding the renal system. Question number 16. This is also select all that apply. Which of the following are true regarding the renal system? A, the renal system maintains the blood pH at a normal level between 7.35 and 7.45. B, the renal system maintains pH by keeping a normal ratio of hydrogen ions to bicarbonate ions. C, the higher the concentration of hydrogen ions, the lower the pH or D, all of the above. Our answer here is D, all of the above, which means A, B, and C are all true statements regarding the renal system. Question number 16. Select all that apply. Which of the following are true regarding the renal system? A. Uric acid and creatinine are both waste product excreted in urine. B. The renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system, otherwise known as RAAS, is a mechanism that works to increase blood pressure when low blood pressure is detected in the afferent arterioles. C. The renal artery supplies unfiltered blood to the kidney while the renal vein takes filtered blood out of the kidney. Or D. All of the above. Our answer here is D, all of the above, which means that A, B, C are all true statements regarding the renal system. Question number 17. Where in the nephron does reabsorption and excretion take place? A, the glomerulus, B, the renal capsule, C, the renal tubules, which include the proximal convoluted tubule, descending loop of Henle, A, sending loop of Henle, distal convoluted tubule, and the collecting duct, or D, all of the above. Our answer here is C, the renal tubules, which include the proximal convoluted tubule, the descending loop of Henle, ascending loop of Henle, distal convoluted tubule, and the collecting duct. This is all where reabsorption and secretion take place. And finally, question number 17, our final question. Sorry for the grammatical error here. Uh, a patient with high levels of glucose in their urine is admitted. What process happens as a result of negative feedback when there is too much glucose in the blood? A, the glomerulus leaks water into the Bowman's capsule. B, glucose gets secreted into the tubules. C, glucose gets reabsorbed back into the blood system. Or D, Glucose gets filtered in the tubules. Our answer here is B, glucose gets secreted back into the tubules so that it can be secreted uh, via the urine because the body doesn't need all that much glucose. Alrighty guys, thank you for being here. I uh, hope you guys learned something new. Until next time.